Aloha everybody. It's Gabe from the Hawaii Institute of Self-Reliance. Thank you for watching. Welcome back. In today's video, I want to show you guys and gals how to snap cut. It's a technique by using a forward heavy knife or machete. You gain the most energy and effect with the least amount of effort or energy spent allowing the blade to do most of the work I hope you stay tuned learn how to snap cut First, I'm going to set the lanyard, and this is the technique I use. I like these adjustable lanyard toggles right here with paracord. Put it in right there, twist it over like this, and grab it right here. Just like that. One more time. this there you go that's how I use my lanyard now with the snap cut basically what you're going to be doing is you're going to be letting the knife kind of loose in your hand. The concept is loose but tight. Uh, it's hard to get used to and, and it takes a long time to really get good at it. So you, you basically, your grip is loose but secure, especially with the lanyard, right? And then right before you impact your target, you kind of whip it and tighten up and it uh, causes a like a whip effect basically what you're doing is you're taking this blade and whipping it into the target so you want to go loose and right as I hit Whip it. Whip it good. Something like that. Not using a whole lot of energy, but it's biting in really deep. Oh, and by the way, this is my Bark River Grasso Bolo 2, nine inch blade, 5160. One of my favorite knives of all time and definitely my favorite forward heavy blade. Very little effort. Your, your grip is loose. And then you tighten up right there, bam, whip it. I'll get you a closer shot of this. Better view. 
give you a side view. And basically what I'm doing is loose in the hand, in the grip, right? And then tighten up right as I hit the target. Very little effort and it bites in really deep. So I'll try to go slow, but it's kind of a whipping action. Now that's barely any, just letting the blade drop basically on the target. Just dropped it on there. That's all I'm doing. This blade, heavy, forward heavy blade, just drop it on there and it's and it just bites in. Now what I can do is I can like that. That's the action. I'm gonna whip it. Bam. Oh yeah, chunks flying. Got stuck in there. So here, on this log, this is some ironwood right here. Huh? Almost the complete blade sunk in. That's how you snap cut. Right there. The grip is loose. And right as the blade hits the target, you whip it, you can snap it. I hope that helps. I hope this video helped you in your snap cut technique. Remember, lanyard, and I usually hold the blade uh, or the, the knife or machete towards the back of the handle and your hand is loose, your grip is loose, right before you hit the target, you snap it, okay? And that creates a, a whipping effect, it's velocity, and that weight carries really heavy when it hits the target and the blade s chops a lot better. And I prefer a bolo or a kukri or that type of knife or machete in the jungle. It's just more versatile, especially with the snap cut. And it, it takes a little while, it takes a little practice. You gotta be safe. I recommend practicing where you're in a safe environment and whatever you are hitting or chopping is secure and won't fly around and always be aware of what you're doing this is life-changing stuff right here <laughs> a razor sharp heavy blade like this can do a lot of damage so i want you to be safe when you're practicing this and when you're using this technique please be safe i hope you like this video comment Subscribe, share, till next time, aloha.